Well, hello Capricorn. This is your January 2019. I have tried to record this three times already. Three times already. So, <clears throat> what I can say is I've gotten uh, pretty far so far. I've gotten three cards out for you, and I'm going to work with those three cards. Um, but I wanted to also tell Capricorn that uh, for January 2019, um, I hope that you all had a wonderful Christmas, and I hope that you have a wonderful, happy, and prosperous new year as well. Um, Capricorns, for the new year, <clears throat> I just want to tell you a few things that I picked up psychically for Capricorn. Although I am not doing yearlies, um, that would take about three hours for each one, and I don't know how to separate uh, certain informations, so we'll see what we can do throughout the month of January and every month to keep you informed all the way through. Um, anyway, Capricorn. Uh, there are some Capricorns who are going to be dealing with either a surgery, a minor surgery, a major surgery, or an elective surgery, meaning somebody might be trying to get a facelift, a breast implant, um, hair extensions, something minor as hair extensions, um, eyebrow lifts, uh, whatever. Um, I picked those things up especially. But there is also some of you that are going to deal with gallbladders, appendectomies. Um, somebody may be even getting a knee replacement. Um, that's And all those are going to go very well. I don't see any Capricorns having any uh, complications or anything going on that is bad. Okay? Um, but I do feel like some of you will not follow the strict directions or guidance from the doctor. So it is important to make sure that when you're on post-op that you do exactly what you're told to do in the time frame that you're told to do it. If you try to push too fast, you're going to have a problem. Then we're talking different. Then we're talking you need a personal reading, okay? So, money is going to be great for Capricorns starting January, yes. There is a lot of things changing for Capricorns. I feel like your energies are going to be very positive. You're upbeat. You're upswing. There is a, a lot of good karma coming to you. It is owed to you due to the hardships and the problems. A lot of you have really suffered through the past, and not only just the past year, but going back a lot of years, some of you have really had one trial and tribulation after another, and you've had enough. But Thank you, Jesus, that 2019 is going to be much different. We're going to start off with January. Again, January, your finances are going to improve. A lot of you have a different title that you're going to start. Some of you are moving not only to a different town, but maybe to a different state. Some of you are moving for work. It has to do with a promotion as well. Some of you have just gotten noticed that you're going to be doing a lot of traveling where work is concerned. And that looks very fun as well. <clears throat> I do feel that some of you Capricorns have been trying and trying to be able to get another car and get a new car. I do feel that's going to happen between the end of January, beginning of February, okay? Just to let you know, those who, of you who are trying to get another car, I feel like you will get a new car. I don't feel like it'll be a used car. I don't feel like you want to put the money and the payments out for something that somebody else already had and possibly deal with their problems, okay? All right, so let's get started. Here are the first three cards that I've already pulled. The first card I got for Capricorn is the Knight of Cups. With the Knight of Cups, we know that the Knight of Cups is an idealist. We know they are definitely a romance a romancer. We know that um, the Knight of Cups also uh, seems to be a blessing of somebody coming back and making an offer of love to you, wanting to be with you, wanting to create a union. Um, it is a very positive card. This is somebody wanting to express their love to you. And they are truly an idealist and they truly have nothing but romance, love, and partnership and commitment on their mind. So that's positive. The second card that I got right after that was the lover's card. And when I got the lover's card, that to me was a confirmation that you are going to be accepting somebody's offer. Now this could be an old partner or this could be somebody brand new coming in. But I want you to take your time. I want you not to rush anything, even if it's the old partner. It's easy to get comfortable real quick because you've been with them. But things are different because you need to handle things differently or it's going to end up the same way it did before. Okay? So, again, you have the lovers here. This is going to be very positive. You see the angel, um, which is right here above it. Very positive. And, you know, you will have the blessings of the angel for this union, for this duality. <clears throat> so that is going to move forward. <clears throat> excuse me, in a very positive way. 
Okay, so then we speak of, now remember when I spoke of this card before, the woman, which is on this side, the woman here has the snake behind her. So be careful because the snake always speaks about temptation, um, losing your focus, um, losing your attention where it should be focused at. So pay attention to your partner or make sure you're doing things that you need to be doing to keep your partner's attention, all right? Because we don't want your partner to go into another direction. Or this card, you can forget that, and this card for some of you would be a celebration because of the fact somebody is coming towards you to make an offer. Somebody is wanting to have a, a union with you, a partnership, a long-term commitment. Somebody may be offering to go the next step if you're already in a relationship, this may be the commitment card. February is only around the corner. And that is showing me there will be a big celebration coming on. Okay? So that's what I got so far for Capricorn. The next card is the Seven <clears throat> excuse me, of Wands. With the Seven of Wands card, of course, th that can be a lot of different things. Um, kind of hard to put for... If, being that this is a reading for many that are watching, um, again, the Seven of Wands, it, it, it can be a lot of different things. Let me start with the fact that, uh, you guys, somebody is definitely trying to maybe be on the defense about something. Somebody's maybe has strong perseverance in a situation. <clears throat> now, this could be your partner who's wanting to return. Okay, the partner who's coming in. It could be, again, somebody from your past or somebody's new, but they are de definitely persevering. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're definitely persevering in a situation. They're going to push, push, push so that they can get exactly what they want. They got their mind set. Their focus is very straight and clear. Okay. I do feel like with this card, it is definitely choices, wishful thinking. Um, there may be some illusion and fantasy in here. Maybe somebody is not sure if they are able to keep someone like you. Maybe they feel like um, this could be, you know, a dream coming true for them. I also feel like, you know, seven different images one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So with the seven of wands, um, you know, there's seven, seven different, let me just put it this, this way. There's seven different reasons that someone could be in love with you. There's seven different situations that could be occurring between all of you as well. And what I get about that is, for, for a lot of you, um, a lot of you, for a lot of you, again, persevering, pushing through, not giving up. Um, somebody may be on the defensive. Somebody is definitely maintaining control here. So whether this is you or this is your partner. So if you're wondering why things aren't going really, really fast at first, okay, because again, they're going to come in, okay, they're going to offer you this union, this relationship, this commitment, there will be a celebration that's going to come. But the celebration may take a little bit of time. It may take some perseverance. It may take for someone who is maintaining control, trying not to go too fast, trying not to rush into things, trying not to make things uncomfortable, but yet making sure that everything is very clear, okay? Now, some of you may be dealing, okay, um, with a king of pentacles and that's what came up next so we have the king of pentacles oh excuse me um with the king of pentacles okay definitely focused on himself okay so we know how the king of pentacles is we know that he's efficient he he's hard working okay we know that already but we also know that um the it it's, he's much like the other court card, like similar to the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, resolves, revolves around work. Everything revolves around work. So your partner may be willing to put in the time with you. However, remember, they're also like a workaholic. They also want to make sure that they have enough coin. They want to make sure that all their finances are in order. Um, the Knight of Pentacles 
he sits on a dark horse, right? Um, in a field. But remember that with the Knight of Pentacles, and even though we're talking here about the King of Pentacles, but the Knight of Pentacles, um, he's always off on an adventure, right? So the Knight of Pentacles is always off on, on an um, adventure. But then when we have the King of Pentacles, he's nothing but abundance, prosperity, okay, sincerity. So, it, it again, the suits run together. They're very similar to one another. But I can tell you that, you know, materialistic definitely likes worldly success, uh, likes really nice things. This could be you. This doesn't have to be a male. This could, could be what you like. You like really nice things. Um, you want a big home. You want a nice car. You want a lot of money. Uh, you don't want to want for anything. You don't want to have to, to rob and borrow and beg or steal, God forbid. Um, this this um, knight, I'm sorry, king, sorry, sorry. This king is definitely surrounded by different plants and vines and flowers, which depicts the king's attainment of materialistic success. So he likes to keep things close to him. Okay, maybe that's you wanting to keep your partner close to you, or maybe that's your partner wanting to keep you close to them. Okay, at the same time, he holds a scepter in his right hand and in the coin with a pentacle engraved on it in his left hand. The castle can be seen behind him, which symbolizes of his determination and his effort. Okay, so when you're looking at the castle, that's his determination and his efforts. All right, but the king of, with, with king of pentacles, we immediately, his regal and generous presence, right? He's a provider. He's a protector, okay? He, he cares a great deal, all right? He puts his whole heart and soul into everything that he does. So be aware of the person that's coming towards you, or maybe, like I said, this could be you. And then, of course, your last card that we got is the sun card. And with the sun card, we know that that's nothing but joy, success, celebration, fulfillment. And this card seems to represent Capricorn for the entire year of 2019. So I think this is going to be really positive for you. And again, with the Sun card, as you know, it it is bringing nothing but light over everything. It's like the universe, the angels, your spirit guides, everybody's just trying to give you a big hug and tell you how wonderful they think you are. So with that being said, this is all going to be very positive for Capricorn for the month of January. All right, I'm going to pick one last card. I want to shuffle these cards. I want to get one last card. For those of you that are watching this, okay. And the last card that I got was the Six. Again, the Six of Pentacles. So with the Six of Pentacles, all right, with the Six of Pentacles, there could be options, okay? Somebody having many options, somebody making a decision of what to do, um, what to choose maybe. It may even be about choosing something. Um, but as far as the, you know, Six of Pentacles go, you and I can interpret things a whole, a whole different way if we chose to, right? Um, charity, generosity, sharing. Okay, so to me, this means that your finances, like I said, uh, for Capricorn are going to be very good. They're going to start now in January. And maybe it is you sharing the wealth with someone else. Or for some of you, yes, this could be the beggars here. Maybe maybe you have to be one of the beggars putting your hand out asking for somebody to help you. But there is going to be blessings coming towards you. Either way, this is a blessing card. Because either you're going to bless someone with the coins you have or someone is going to bless you with what they have. Now, for some of you, that could be an inheritance. It could be uh, a winning. It could be a lottery. It could be an investment where that even goes up more. Um, but again, I got the Ace of Swords. So look at this, you guys. Man, I wish I was Capricorn right now because your January is looking great and your rest of the year is going to be just the same. The universe is trying to hand you and offer you a new beginning, an opportunity. Okay, so don't pass this up, Capricorn. Capricorn, be glad you got through 2018. Okay, be ready for 2019 because it is going to be positive. Stay optimistic and let's see what happens.